Number two. The pregame festivities are over, and we're just about set to get this game underway. He just drills this one. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. Iowa State's coaching staff so confident they know they've got a guy that's one of the best running backs in the country and that they can just play their game and not worry about the fact they're on the road. Well, Brett, his big playability not only can give you big chunks of yards on the road, but more importantly, it can quiet this atmosphere and allow the quarterback in this offense to just getting back and, and just being able to run and be able to communicate. And I think that's a big challenge for this team. So look for his big playability to maybe even out the atmosphere and give this offense a chance to be able to execute. And he has it on the corner. They'll bring him down at the 44. Very well designed play that time to give him a first down. The linemen executed their blocks nicely and it went for a good game. Tackle around the 40 yard line. Defense had that one called perfectly. That's a big play on that loss. Second and 14. Ball on the 40-yard line. Let's go, D. Here they come. Quick out to his receiver. He's taken down around the 42-yard line. That was a really nice play on the ball by the receiver for a substantial gain and a first down. Just throws this one away. Brad, I just think this quarterback's got to do a much better job of being able to read that defense and make quicker decisions. And especially when the defense starts to get pressure, you've got to either get rid of that football or check it down or take off and run with it. Now he tries to buy some time. He's at the 30, and he's tackled at about the 25-yard line. Game of 17 on the play. First down. Motion, motion. Quick shot, the defender tips it away. I like the scheme the defensive coordinator came up with here. They were all over the place on that play and left the quarterback nowhere to throw it. Here's the eighth play of the series. Quick strike to the receiver. Nice pickup as they connect on the pass play. Well, they look to be in sync right now. They're both reading the defense properly, and the result is a nice game. Looks like they're going to go for it on fourth down. And the goal line defense digging in here. Look for it on the ground, and he's not going to get there. And they lose possession on down. You know, that was one of those situations where you have to go for it to try to get something going. Now they need a big play here from their defense. The quarterback brings his troops out onto the field for the first drive of the game. He's out to the 30, and they make the stop right around the 32-yard line. So the halfback loses about two on the run. Loss of two yards on the play. That'll bring up second and 12. It's second and 12. Ball on their own 30. Check that, check that. We're on Mike 52 right here. He fires right side. It's caught. First down, and he's out of bounds. Nice pickup as they connect on the pass play. Well, they look to be in sync right now. They're both reading the defense properly, and the result is a nice game. Fires quickly, and it's picked off. It's a good play when the corner can break up a pass, but it's even better when he can bring it in for an interception. From their own 48-yard line, first down. 
check mic, check mic, mic six, mic six. You remember me? You remember me? <laughs> Zipped it out, and that was almost picked off. Number six, the intended receiver on the play. That makes it second and ten. Hey, hey, you don't understand me. Throws complete, and he's hit right away. That's a game of seven on the play. That makes it third and three. He's at the 30. He's at the 20. Tackle made around the 16-yard line. First down. The defense has had two stops already down here. I can't believe they even let you play. They're going. 225. Go. He gets out to about the 15-yard line. That brings us second to nine. And down he goes, right around the 14-yard line. And they got it. It looks like the defensive end that got in there. Yes, it was. He did a wonderful job of fighting off blocks to bring the quarterback down. Fourth down, they'll line it up for the field goal. Iowa State could take the lead with this field goal. The kick is up, and it is good. The kicker looks like he's ready to kick this one off. Sends it sailing downfield. And they can forget about returning this one. Quarterback couldn't maintain possession on their last drive. Let's see what he does here. He can't dwell on the interception. There's still a whole lot of football to be played today. And he's taken down at the 36-yard line. He lets it go. Oh, he had a shot at the pick. Number 27 was the intended receiver on the play. From their own 36-yard line, it's second down. And he throws right away. He was that close to making a big play. His safety is kicking himself for dropping that one. That brings us third and ten. immediately tackled. That was a good pass and catch there, but still not enough for the first down. That's not an easy conversion here on third down for the offense. All the defense has to do is stay back, keep everything in front of them, come up and make a tackle. Well, this has really been stingy by both of these defenses. The question is, can they keep this pace up, though? I think that it's a big challenge for them to be able to continue to play like this. Right now, the emotion of the game is favoring the two defenses, but I get a feeling it's a matter of time until one of these offenses starts clicking. The offense gets set to take the field. Last time out, they stuck it between the uprights for three. Iowa State is up by three. Brought down at the 20. From their own 20-yard line, second down. Fires out to his receiver. Across midfield. He's tackled at about the 21. That makes it first and 10. Quick strike and he drops it. Number 18 was the intended receiver. Second and ten. Ball on the 21-yard line. Mike 50, Mike 50. That's right, Mike. 
baby. They don't want it. Up the middle for a nice game. Good for a game of six yards. That'll bring up three and four. Pass and he's right there to knock it away. Well, that's a big time play by the defense here to knock that football away to set up a pivotal fourth down. Fourth down. So the kicking team is on the field. They'll try for three. Kicks away and they tack on three points. They line up to kick this one away. Excellent kick. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. The Cyclones are looking downright scary on defense so far, Irby. They are flying around as a group right now, completely aware of what this offense is trying to do and dismantling them every single time on every single play. You never like to have to play from behind, but a deficit this manageable shouldn't be in the front of their minds. They just need to go out there and play. Complete pass and hit hard as he came down with it. Sacked. Credit those two defenses in that first quarter or blame the offenses for a lack of production. The Cyclones in front, 6-0. And we're ready for more football here in quarter number two. Oh, twist, watch, twist, watch, twist. Get the choosing mic. Watch mic, watch mic. Ready! Here they come. And he's going to be sacked for a loss. Loss of 10 yards on the play. That makes it fourth and long. Fourth and long here after the sack. He puts it away, and it's a great kick. He makes it out to midfield. Everywhere we go in college football, everybody's got a T-shirt that says finish, finish. Whether that means finish the game or finish the drive. Right now, this offense is moving the ball, but they're not finishing the drive. They got to execute better down closer to their opponent's territory. Iowa State, six. Completes it, and he's hit hard immediately. Defensive coordinator anticipating this five-wide set, and he comes in with his dime package. Looks left, picked off. He came up with a fantastic interception there. Well, you know the quarterback is kicking himself for that one. He just made the wrong read. From their own 47-yard line. It's first down. Quick toss. Off his hands and incomplete. The wide receiver wasn't able to hang on. Well, you talk about a solid hit. This guy is a true enforcer. That makes it second and ten. Gets rid of it quickly. Keeps a foot in and pulls it down. And he's hit immediately. position to score. Great, tough football right there. 
getting down to the goal line and just punching it in. Here's the extra point that can give them the lead. He makes the PAT. So that's a five-play, 53-yard drive, and they put up seven points. Brad, I thought the key to that drive really had a lot to do with the quarterback and the receivers getting in sync, making it very tough for the defense to slow him down. The score now, 7-6. Houston is ready to kick it away. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. Brad, everywhere we go when we travel all over the country, people want to talk about offense. Oh, the spread or the pistol and hurry up tempo offense and points. It's nice to watch a team that prides itself on playing great defense. And when it's all said and done, the teams that advance and get to the important bowl games and do well in the postseason are teams that have this kind of defense. Gets the ball here and brought down in the backfield. And he was pretty much stuffed on that run. You know what, that was just a nice job by the defense in stopping him before he could get going and build up momentum. Second down at 12. Ball on the 23-yard line. Throws it into coverage, and it's intercepted. And now he's got room to run. Touchdown, Cougars. And he adds the extra point. like they're ready for the kickoff. Nice kick, plenty of distance. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. It's going to be interesting now to see if this quarterback can put that last throw behind him. This quarterback needs to be a little bit more careful because this defense is excellent on capitalizing off of mistakes. Aaron and out long. And he's tackled right away. And he tackles him hard at the 32 yard line. Gives it up the gut. They'll bring him down at the 35. Third down now, and they need to get it to the 22. They bring the quarterback down. They're trying to pin them deep with a solid punt right here. And he's tackled at the 32. And they'll fail on fourth down. In a game that's this close, you can't afford to waste possessions. Houston holds an eight-point advantage. Down. Blue seven. Quick throw, picked off. Tackle at the 45-yard line. The quarterback has made some really careless throws, but you got to also give credit to the defense for being able to clean up the mess and create the turnovers. From the 45-yard line, first down. Tackled after decent pickup. And they get the sack. The protection broke down. The defense was in the backfield in a hurry, and they brought the quarterback down. Nice play.
Third down, and they need to get it down to the 35. Roger, Roger. Let's go, Mike 50. Mike 50. Here we go, here we go. Fires that quickly, incomplete. Number 18 was the intended receiver on that play. That'll make it fourth and ten. Doesn't want to let the punt returner have a chance here. He just wants to change field position. Momentum swings have been fairly even. And with so little separation, this game can be drastically changed on just one or two plays. Watch it all. Going deep. The defender had it and then dropped it. It can be tough making a play on the ball sometimes, but that's probably a pick he should have made. Second down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 21-yard line. Houston is up by eight. Caught out in the open. I credit the quarterback on that pass. He made a great read and delivered a very nice pass for the first down. They'll make the sack. Absolutely perfect call by the defensive coordinator. He brought just the right amount of pressure from the right direction, and it seemed to confuse the offense. Here we go. He gets rid of this one. Great job by the defense at getting after that quarterback. And right now, I think they've got him with some happy feet. He appears to be a bit rattled. From their own 24-yard line, third down. Right here, right here. Fires quickly and it's picked off. Number 26 makes the interception. So that's their third interception this half. It's simple, Brad. The defense has been really, really good, and the offense has been really, really bad. Let's go, defense. Our time. It's our time. They'll spread the field here. Let's see what the defense does with a five wide outlook. And he just gets rid of it. Good job here by the defense. If you let this quarterback set and throw, he'll kill you all game. But they got excellent pressure on that play. From the 33 yard line, second down. Under pressure. And he's level at the 41. Man, as an offensive lineman, this is the worst thing that you want to see. Is your quarterback not only getting sacked, but getting hit like that. Those linemen better pick that quarterback up and start doing a better job of taking care of him. And they've got the dime package in there to try and deal with this five receiver look. Throws it out and it falls incomplete. Number six is the intended receiver on the play. That makes it fourth and one. Little too much leg into that punt. They'll bring it out to the 20. And here comes the offense, and you've got to wonder if that last interception's weighing on the quarterback's mind at all. The first rule on offense is to take care of the football. These guys need to remember that on this track. Catches it, and he's looking for more. He's taken down at the 35-yard line. Good job by the offensive line to pick up the linebacker on the blitz. That gave the quarterback enough time to find his man for a nice game. Houston up by eight. He flings it left. And it's intercepted. Number seven with the interception. This quarterback better start making better decisions in the passing game. Otherwise, this corner will come up with even more picks in the future. From the 46-yard line, first down. Pulls down the catch, and he's got room here. He's pushed out of bounds around the 35-yard line. On the play. That makes it first and ten.
Don't get nervous. Like six. And he's taken down at the 25-yard line. They pick up good yardage that time on the pass play. Here they kind of put pressure on the quarterback and challenged him to find the hole in the defense. And in this case, he did. Nice job. And he is drilled at the 33-yard line. This quarterback has to do a better job of avoiding the rush because sacks can be real drive killers. Third down now. They need to get it to the 25. Screen pass and he can't hold on. The kick is up, and it's good! And he's got to be happy about that kick. Oh, no question. This kid is just a solid kicker. 14-9, Houston. Everyone's all lined up and ready for the kickoff. He really got a hold of that kick. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. And the offense will take the field, and they're certainly hoping to do better than they did on their last drive, which ended with a turnover. So much in football is about how you respond to adversity. Moving forward after a turnover is a perfect example of that. Quick throw out to the receiver. Brought down at about the 41. Hit out of bounds at around the 48-yard line. Second down, and they're going to need about three yards to pick up the first down. They'll spread the field with five wide. Quick throw. And they make the stop around the 29-yard line. So an empty backfield with five wide receivers. Under pressure, he's tackled around the 12-yard line. They come out on an empty backfield. Going to the end zone, and it's coming back out. That's a great tackle at the 15-yard line. A great first half comes to a close. 14-9, Cougars. Glad to have you with us in the studio for the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 Halftime Show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. Reese Davis and David Pollock here completely locked in on that first half. If I had to guess, both quarterbacks sitting in the locker room right now Probably a little bit jumpy. Both these Wait, what guys, was that? <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Both these guys have been hit and hit often in this game. How does how does being sacked as many times as these guys have affect their play in the second half? Well, uh, coaches, defensive coaches always told me throughout my career that those early hits take a toll late on the quarterbacks. And, you know, once they – it's so easy to be sitting in the pocket and one read, two read, three reads, and you see quarterbacks buy time. When they start getting hit after their second read and right when they're getting to their third read, then they know in the back of their mind when they're stepping in that pocket, oh, it might be coming again. So it, it makes the great quarterbacks, you know, even even gives them happy feet and makes them step up in the pocket and feel pressure that's not always there. So if you get to him, he feels that pressure, but it also puts a little bit of doubt in his head later on about that offensive protection. We've done what we can do here at halftime. Time to get you back out to the second half. We'll keep an eye on everything going on in college football. Brad Nestler and Kirk Herbstreit ready with a call. All right, Reese and David, thanks, guys. Second half action just about ready to start here. He sends this one deep. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. The day has not gone very well for this young man. Right now, the defensive pressure flat out is causing these turnovers. When you're a defensive coordinator, you want to always try to get your defense to pin their ears back and put pressure on the quarterback. When you do that, you're going to create opportunities. 
Any more slip-ups, and this lead could disappear. Then the fans will really have something to complain about. The quarterback leads the offense back out onto the field as we get set to resume play. Where's 52? Watch 52. 52. Green, nine. Makes the catch, and the defense is all over him. They bring him down for a loss. Taken back three yards. Pretty good stand there. They weren't fooled at all by the offensive play call. From their own 22-yard line, second down. He's going to air it long. This one will fall incomplete. Nice job getting a hand on that one. Yeah, really good heads-up play there to get a hand on the football by the defense. And he hits him hard at the 15. That is a loss of seven. Fourth down. After the sack, it's now fourth and long. Oh, excellent punt. For Houston, they've been getting into the backfield quite a bit. This defense has been bringing the blitz and is having success getting to him. This crowd is looking to help their defense hold on to a slim lead. There's still plenty of time to keep running their offense as usual here. I don't think they need to feel any anxiety about trailing. They come out in a five wide set. Fires out to his receiver. And he's tackled at the 47 yard line. And a pickup of about seven. Good decision here, nice dump off. It's only seven yards, but the offense will take that play every time. In the shotgun and five wideouts. And he might want it all here and does. No, incomplete. They need about three yards to get the first down here on third down. And he stopped behind the line. He gets it away, and this is a really nice punt. This punt goes over the goal line, and this will be a touchback. The offense takes the field again. They were forced to punt their last time out. Down of bounds at the 28 yard line. That's a game. That makes it second and two. He has some room. He's to the 40. Tackle made at about the 49. throw. Caught open field. Touchdown Houston. The wide out here truly knows what he has to do to contribute to make his team successful. It makes for an easy completion when you've got a guy who's that wide open. He makes the PAT. So a short three play, 79 yard drive, and that's good for a touchdown. You know, you always prepare your offense to think that we're going to have some success. These guys got to be coming over the sidelines after touchdown, after touchdown, saying, man, I, I didn't expect it to be this easy. 
He's to the 20. He's taken down at the 25. There's got to be some sense of urgency to this offense right now. They don't have the luxury of wasting drives if they want to get back in the game. Easy, easy, kill, kill. Come on, QB, come on. And he almost has the INT. Number 18 was the intended receiver on that way. That makes it second. From their own 25-yard line. Second down. He's knocked out of bounds at about the 25-yard line. Third down. Mike's 50, Mike's 50. Watch the run, watch the run. Got hit and still completed it. They'll bring him down right around the 26-yard line. That'll bring up fourth and nine. These special teams have done it before, blocking punts. It looks like they're coming after this one. He steps out at about the 27-yard line. So now the offense comes back out, hoping for the same success they had on their last drive. This quarterback right now is in a rhythm, and a lot of that has to do with his preparation. You can see right now with the reads that he's being able to make, getting the football out of his hands, that he's feeling very, very confident in his ability to throw the football against this defense. Good work here by the defense to keep him from making something more out of that play. There are five wide receivers split out. The quarterback in the gun. Complete, he's got room. And he's shoved out of bounds around the 39-yard line. First down there on a five-yard pass. And that's just great execution on that short pass play. He sails it long. Tackle at the 10-yard line. The offense looking here to exercise any red zone demons they might have after throwing an interception on their last trip. And they bring him down for a sack on the play. Boy, Brad, that was a big hit on the quarterback. I'm going to be interested to see how he responds from this hit and whether or not he comes after his offensive lineman and challenges them to start playing a little bit better. Defense looking for another sack in this second down and long situation. Hey, Mike 52. Mike 52. Ready? Fires quick out to the receiver and he can't make the grab. Number nine. He tends to be seen that way. That'll bring up third and long. Watch the job. Watch the job. Mike 52. Ready. Boy, the defender was just sitting back there waiting to make that big hit. He realized he couldn't get there for the interception, so he did the next best thing. He timed up his hit by the time the quarterback threw the football. As soon as the receiver touched the football, he made that big hit to be able to get the football away from the receiver. And it's puts the uprights. Houston kicked this one off. Nice kick, plenty of distance. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. The Cougars continue to get it done on the defensive side of the football, Kirk. Yeah, they've done a good job of building this lead and almost determined here to protect it. Let's see if they can hold on here for the rest of the way. The defense really stepped up to force that three and out on the last drive. Down two possessions. This offense has to step up and capitalize on this possession. And he's tackled right away. Call it a gain of eight yards. That makes it second and two. They spread the field in the gun with five wide receivers. And he's going to be sacked for a loss. That makes it third and seven. Third down, seven yards to go. Ball on the 28. They'll make the sacks. 
I think the quarterback here, even though he came up with a sack, he's on his back, he's also guilty here of not getting a better pre-snap read. You know, a lot of quarterbacks will get caught up in their size and their arm strength and how they throw the football. But the really good quarterbacks bring the intangibles to the table, and that means recognizing a blitz and affecting the offensive line and making the right call to adjust the protection. That time, he didn't do that. And this one is a beauty. He makes it out to maybe the 43-yard line. Houston's showing right now that they are not content to sit back and just watch their lead disappear. They're adding to it. Boy, they're clicking right now on offense. They've found their rhythm, and as you said, they're not looking back. They're trying to extend this lead and try to put this game out of reach. Last drive resulted in a field goal, and the offense will come back out looking to do one better. Makes a catch, and he's got nowhere to go. He's at the 40, and down he goes around the 34-yard line. the ground up the middle he makes it out to maybe the 33 yard line and he's level at the 32 that's a gain of one on the play that'll bring up third and eight it's not over yet folks we head to the fourth quarter 24 to 9 Houston All right, we're just about set to start action here again in the fourth quarter. Man, do they need that stop. They had to get it back, give it to their offense. They've got the opportunity. That's all they could ask for. So it's fourth down. They'll call on the field goal unit here for this long field goal attempt. Kicks away, and he nails the long field goal. The kicker looks like he's ready to kick this one off. He kicks it off, and he got all of that one. Houston's just not going to let him come for air, I guess. Well, this defense has just been stifling. They've shut down the running game. They've, for the most part, limited the big plays in the pass game. And they've got a nice lead here in the fourth quarter. Their last drive broke down, and they punted. What do they have in store this time out? Catches it, and that's all. Game of seven on the play. That'll bring up second and three. Throws it in a hurry. Good hook up there. They get an eight-yard gain and a first down. Great look from the quarterback to find his receiver and make the quick throw for the new set of downs. And the quarterback didn't waste any time getting rid of that one. He took the snap and he threw it right out there. He's out of bounds around the 41-yard line. Taken down at the 49. He's at the 40. He's at the 30. The 10. Nice move, and he scores. And the quarterback stays on the field as they try for the two-point conversion. End zone picked off. And they won't get the two. 
A five-play, 75-yard drive. But they just get six points after failing to convert for two. Brad, how about the guys up front? The offensive line giving the quarterback plenty of time to be able to read the defense and make the right play. And he's taken down at the 44. Both teams are well aware that a score on this drive is going to create an almost insurmountable lead. This defense has really got to step it up and make a stop. Quick strike to the receiver. Has time. He's scrambling with a quick throw. He's taken down at the 10. Here's a screen pass. Gets it to the back. Touchdown, Cougars. And he adds the extra point. Houston gets set to kick this one away. He just drills this one. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. We see this offense again after what you, Kirk, called a very physical touchdown drive. Well, I say that, Brad, because the big hog mollies up front were able to create holes for the running game, and it helped them get the score. Let's see if they can do it again. He gets rid of this one. Second down, 10 to go. Ball on their own 25. Quick throw out to the receiver. Brought down at the 28. Just under three to go in regulation. Steps out of bounds around the 31 yard line. That makes it fourth and four. So it's fourth down, and the offense is still on the field. He throws left. Leaps. Picked off. It looked like the pass was sailing out of reach, but he just climbed the ladder and made a spectacular interception. For a nice game. That's a team of four. That makes it seven to six. Second and six coming up here. Ball on the 43. bring him down behind the line. You've got to admire the intensity that these linebackers bring to the table. As soon as he saw it was staying on the ground, he made a beeline for the ball carrier. Hey, I'm coming after you. I'm coming after you. My 52. Let's go. Blue 88. And they make the stop at the 37. The 37-yard line. First down. Here we go. Here he goes. He's tackled at the 20. And that's their third first down of the drive. The defense needs to figure out a way to stop them, or else they're going to have no problem putting points on the board.
And this one's all but wrapped up. The Cougars come out on top, 34-15. That's it for this presentation of NCAA Football 14. For Kirk Herbstreet, I'm Brad Nessler saying thanks, and we'll see you soon.